It gets so much better, Mr. Cabot. Believe me. Uh, I, I, I didn't believe you the first time, John. Ah, this is the abuse I'm paying for. We all have our doubts, John. But we want to believe. We just need assurances. What's it like seeing a dinosaur for the first time? Oh, it's like, uh, you know, it's like the early days of a new romance. It's fascinating and exhilarating uh, until the fangs and the claws come out. It's definitely a profound moment. It made an impression on me. Let's put it that way. This is why Jurassic Park must succeed, Dr. Grant. I want the world to have that same profound memory. You know, I could do without uh, some of the memories of this place. That's precisely why I asked you all to take this journey again. Had you been part of the process earlier, perhaps our first time around would have been different. A mistake I'm correcting. We're giving you a chance to prove it, John. More importantly, we're giving these dinosaurs a chance to live in harmony with the modern world. Hmm. However tenuous and unwise that may be. I'm going to prove it to you all. And Dr. Malcolm, I'm going to prove you wrong. First time for everything, I suppose. As you can imagine, everything is a wee bit of a muddle on Isla Nublar, so we'll have our work cut out for us. Yes, a, a return to the scene of the crime, as it were. What crime would that be? Uh, hubris, John. Something that'll hopefully be managed a little more thoroughly this time. I admit that I may have been too enthusiastic, and that it may, may have led to blind spots. That's why I've brought young Cabot Finch along with us. So, uh, what kind of science are you studying, Cabot? Uh, business. Business? Oh, great. The last thing we need more of. After reviewing everything with Mr. Hammond, we'll need to start by placing an arrival point. Then, we can restore the core facilities and get a ranger outpost up and running. We? Well, you, actually, Dr. Grant, and Dr. Sattler, and Dr. Malcolm. Much to do, but it sounds easy enough. <laughs> you really are new to this, aren't you, Finch? You nervous to be back, Dr. Grant? You know, the last time I was here, I left in kind of a hurry. And I want to make absolutely sure what happened isn't repeated ever again, so I've returned, reluctantly. On the positive side of the ledger, it's a chance to work with living dinosaurs. Does that paint a clearer picture for you? Completely, Dr. Grant. And Mr. Hammond seems pretty confident we can get everything working as designed and intended. Confidence is not something John Hammond lacks. Competence, however, it is something I pride myself in, Dr. Grant. We'll need to repair the geothermal power station to start. Okay, once that is done, we can focus on the visitor center. Repaired and powered, it should give us a solid base of operations.
You know, I was reluctant to come back here for, for obvious reasons, but then I realized that I was even more reluctant to stay away because nature would take its course as it always does. I felt the same. Still, there's no denying this is the single most important place on Earth right now. Perhaps ever. Perhaps, but uh, what of Dr. Grant? He and I are a team, through thick and thin, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Still, um, chaos, Dr. Sattler. Um, chaos has me contemplating whether we can actually make things better or just delay the inevitable. It all comes down to responsibility. The last time we were here, we were Hammond's guests. This time, we're more like partners. Now we have the knowledge and the means to make a change. Ambitious, Dr. Sattler, that's ambitious. But, uh, you know, I do like the uh, sentiment. Good. I'll need a research module added to the visitor center. Then we can get a look at the different fencing available. Let's add an emergency bunker to that list as well. I mean, you know, we've both experienced how effective fences have been in the past. Mr. Hammond is very concerned. We're getting reports of staff injuries. Velociraptors. Okay, we have to get them enclosed in the raptor pen. Aren't you an expert on raptors, Dr. Grant? Uh, I think that it'd be fair to say that uh, raptors and Dr. Grant have uh, history. Devoting your life to the study of an animal means accepting the harsh truth that it would try to kill you if you ever came face to face with it. You did come face to face with it. Which was impossible before Jurassic Park. So that had to count for something. It did. It counted for a lot of sleepless nights. is get everything under control, right? Control? No. No, no, Finch. The best you can hope for on Isla Nublar is uh, uh, managed chaos, okay? And that is why you are here, Dr. Malcolm. So, n not my sparkling personality, then? We just need Jurassic Park manageable, chaos and all. Then we can think about larger plans. John, Alan and I still really aren't comfortable opening the park to tourists. That is kind of an understatement. I understand your sentiment and your concerns, but all in due course. And I do seem to remember seeing the public at your dig site in the Badlands. Charge them, didn't you? Those donations helped fund our research. As did I. For which we are grateful. But it's really no different than what we are doing here at Jurassic Park, Dr. Sadler. Just on an admittedly much grander scale. 
And with more theatrics. And buttered popcorn. <laughs> we all know your vision, John. But the execution? It really needs work. That is why you are all here. To make sure this dream, my dream, doesn't die. And there is one other major difference between us, John. In Montana, Ellie and I were pulling dinosaur fossils out of the ground. And here, it's the dinosaurs that are trying to put us into the ground. <laughs> and isn't that exciting? Finch, you really need to learn when to stop talking. It's still going to take a while to properly organize and restore the scientific data. 